time for you to win it. Don't look so worried. Your essay. I really enjoyed it. Did you? It's a brilliant piece of writing. You must have read a lot around the subject. A bit. Have you thought about university? What you might like to study? Where? Not really. Well, you should. That essay was Oxbridge entrance standard. As if. Yeah, it was. Have a little bit of confidence. You should be setting your sights high. Swat. Oh, I'm still waiting for yours, Michaela. Any chance to can have it sometime this term? Oxbridge, eh? Teacher's pet. Brainiac. Maybe I just like doing my work. What's so wrong with that? He just fancies you. Oh, get off my case. <laughs> you coming tonight? Maybe. Maybe? Maybe. Maybe not good. <laughs> hey! I am so sorry. <laughs> You got a problem with somewhere? No, she hasn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, my intention is to get a head chef on board who can also double as a healthy school coordinator, so I'm gonna have interviews all day, I'm gonna be up to my ears, so if there's anything else... We... Yeah, there is one more thing. Ros McCain. Wow, that's impressive. Exceptional, she's leaving everyone else behind. We have to do something for this girl. She's not just bright, she's extraordinary. Well, she's clearly university material. She's more than that, she's Oxbridge. It's the best, and she's the best. That will be a first for Waterloo Road. Exactly, which is why I think we should push through this APU scheme that I've proposed. Just talk us through it one more time. Advanced preparation for entrance to Oxbridge and the top universities. Extra tuition visits to the universities, practice interviews and exams. You're talking about committing all these extra resources and money into literally one student. Roz has every chance of getting to Oxford or Cambridge, but she lacks confidence. She needs more time and input to give her that extra push. Surely we have to help the brightest pupils as well as the most challenged. Yeah, I get your point. OK, Chris, set it up. What's a bedder? It's like your own personal cleaner. They make your bed and clean your room every day. Are you joking? No. My cousin's friend knew someone that went there. They don't want you to have any distractions, they just want you to concentrate on your studying. What's this? Uh, the Ivory Towers. The what? Uh, Oxford and Cambridge where Ros and I are going. Where we might apply to, Philip. You're not as clever as you think you are, you know. Yeah, and what idiot would want to spend three more years studying anyway? Um, a loser who knows the better degree you get means more money and better job you like to have. You know what you need, Ryan? School of life. You can't learn everything from books. No, which is why Mr Mead's given us high flyers. A little bit extra. Like what? Special treatment, I expect. Perks, rewards, privileges. Just for us gifted types. Oh, treats for geeks. Wouldn't want them anyway. Oh dear, moonlighting taking its toll. Your cab business. Oh, I've stopped. Can't drive a taxi, I haven't got a car. It was my sister, so I borrowed it when she went on holiday. I never thought you were really cut out to be a cabbie. Anyway, you've got this job, Rubes, so why not concentrate on that? Yeah. Hey, what's all this? Applying for a post-grad course, hmm? Mature student. I'm going to get one of our students into Oxbridge. Square pair grand old dream on. See, that is exactly the kind of prejudice that I'm trying to get rid of. It's not prejudice, it's geometry. It's a world of we can now, Grantley, not we can't. You need to move with the times. I applaud your idealism, but it'll all end in tears. Oh, miserableist. Now you give them a false sense of their own potential. Unleash dangerous dreams. What's the idea? More support of our brightest pupils to get them up to the standard of the top league universities. What kind of support? Well, the stuff that kids at private school get as a matter of course. The first thing I want to do is set them up with individual tutors. You know what? I think it's a wicked idea, Chris. I'll be a tutor. Yeah, I'm in too. Great. It's like 
you've got a cling on. Okay, everyone, quieten down, please. Take your seats. Right, on your table, you should all have mirrors. I want you to pick one up, take a look into it, and draw what you can see, okay? Right, right, right. you girls fancy one? Oh, were you mad? No. I think one of these. Aidan? What are those? N nothing. They're confiscated. Come on. Oh, hang on, I see you both at break. Yeah, definitely see them. Thank you. What's this? That's a scheme to help students do a university entrance. Can I join? Uh, I'm not really sure it'd benefit you. So time off and trips and career advice and more free periods wouldn't benefit me, so... And what about extra homework, essays, extra reading? This is hardcore academic stuff. I don't think it'd suit you. I want to be on the scheme. Look... I can only take on the really serious, consistent high achievers, Michaela. I'm sorry. Are you saying I can't go to university, sir? No, not at all. Well, there's hundreds of universities out there, and with a bit more effort, you could get a place if you want one. But this is for students who want to go to the really academic establishments. So better universities for better students? Not everyone is or wants to be an academic high flyer. Well, you can use your big words all you want. I know what you're saying. He's saying, I'm thick. No, I never said that. So how do you know what I'm capable of if you won't even let me try? Because this requires intense private study and commitment. Right, so I'm lazy now too. No, of course not. Don't be stupid. Stupid? You called me stupid. You're calling me stupid, sir, because I'm not stupid. What's going on? He's excluding me from the APU scheme. He won't even let me have a go. What gives you the right to choose who can and can't go to university? I haven't said you can't go to university. Can you all go to class, please? We don't need an audience. I want to be on the scheme. But we need to discuss this. You know, it's such a shame because I really wanted one. Ignore her. Did you want one? No. I can get you one if you want one. No, it's OK, honestly. But I'll get a fresh batch by break. No. I'll phone my dealer. <laughs> Mum, where are you? I need some more donuts now. Just call me. Carla, are you on the APU scheme? Well, you should be. You've got the best memory in the class. It's outrageous. It's wrong and they're oppressing you. Look, just sign that and pass it on, yeah? Michaela, is it a problem? No, sir. Hi. I've got an interview with Rachel Mason and uh, I'm a bit early. Name? Adam Fleet, chef. I've not got you down for another hour. I like to be early. You'll have to take a seat. I was just wondering if I could borrow some card and some sticks. We're doing some banners for English. Yeah, um, well, help yourself to cards. Go, will that do? Yeah, thank you. Mm. Oh, well done, you're brilliant. Come on. Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! Aiden! Can I help? I'm just... I thought you weren't going to come. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. I were at work. I had to find an excuse to come out. So where are they? Oh, yes. Yeah. What's these? Well, I couldn't get to Bertie's. Well, I wouldn't have got here in time. Well, I've promised the girls donuts. Oh, I'm sorry. It's OK, we really don't mind. Can you not get anything right? Well, they're nice. I got a lot. 
Look, I'm sorry, I did try my best. What happened to the others? The teacher took them off me, didn't she? Because we're not allowed to eat in class. Do you want me to have a word with them? Look, I'm gonna have to get going, sweetheart. I'm late. Look, if you change your mind, you let me know, okay? Hello, I'm sorry. She is so lame. My mum would kill me if I talked to her like that. Excuse me, do you know if we're running on time? I'll tell you if we weren't. I mean, have I got time for a little look around? I mean, I won't go far. I'll see if anyone's free to take you. Thank you. Aidan, what are you doing with those? Enjoying them. No, they were confiscated. No, they weren't. I think it's time you handed them over. Come on. Have you got any idea how many calories there is in just one of these? You call me fat, miss. <laughs> Aidan, I am not concerned about your size. I'm concerned about your health. Look, when the new healthy school coordinator starts, I'd like it if you went in and had a chat with them, okay? Was Rachel not mentioned it to you? No. Oh, right. Well, she's interviewing now for a new head chef, and they're also going to double up as a healthy school coordinator. Going to head up the policy on food and nutrition. Right, um, just leave Aidan to me. We're going to have a chat. It's going to be very beneficial. All right. Well, can I have a mock then? Later. Here. It's a peaceful protest, miss. We want our voices to be heard. We're not doing anything wrong. Woo! So what's it about? He is labelling us second-class citizens. Us and them, A and B, clever and thick, university, and who cares? It's segregation, isn't it? Yeah. OK, OK, you have been heard, right? Thank you very much. Well, let's break this up now and get back to your lessons. Miss Campbell, Mr Mead and I will have a look at your demands, right? We'll let you know our decision later. Woo! How the hell did this happen? Ask him. You say we can't fail Ros, fine. But we can't fail students like Michaela either. She felt excluded. That's where all of this has come from. No, this has come from Michaela's desire to cause trouble. And why do you think she wants to cause trouble? You made her feel inferior. I don't think so. Chris, you did. By not letting her on that scheme, that is like a vote of no confidence. How can we have confidence in grades that are consistently low? Do you know what? Intelligence isn't always about grades. No, in an ideal world, it's not. But grades are important to universities, and this is about university. Does Michaela want to go to university? No, she's being disruptive and destructive. She's being creative and assertive. Hey, Dom, what are you doing in here? Nothing. Well, it, it can't be nothing, it must be something. I just wanted to know why you called me fat, miss. I didn't, I didn't call you fat, Aidan. I said I was concerned about your health. I get low blood sugar. I need to eat. I can't help how I am. Well, I, I think that you can, if you wanted to. If you just went to a few more of the sports classes, maybe cut back on the snacks. Okay, Aidan, Miss Campbell will come and find you later, OK? We can talk about it then.
Where are you when I need you? I want you to ring the school. You need to complain. I'm being bullied. And it's by this teacher called Miss Campbell. She called me fight in front of all the other kids and she says it's my fault. I need to talk to you, Mum. I opened up the scheme I suggested. Philip's on it. <laughs> Philip? Our most middle-class pupil from a university family. Ros isn't though, is she? She's a genuinely bright, working-class kid. I've got a mix, Rachel. Oh, come on, Chris. It's pretty token. What about our underprivileged kids? They should be getting the advantages that, that pupils like Philip get for nothing. Uh, Kim, I hear what you're saying, but the simple fact is not all our kids are cut out for Oxbridge. No, I know, and I, I'm not saying that. But it's our duty to nurture any ambitions that any of them might have. Yeah, but there's a difference between nurturing ambition and encouraging false dreams. One is kind, the other is cruel. No, one is egalitarian and one isn't. The scheme has got to be opened up properly for all university entrants. Never mind all this Oxbridge elitist stuff. OK, OK, that's enough. We need to set up a process of application to get on this scheme. And yeah, then all the kids who want to be considered can have a shot at it. OK. Right. I need to get back to these interviews. It will be really great if I can trust you two to deal with it. And this is our food technology department. May I help you? Oh, you Mrs Fry? And you are? Adam Fleet, head chef. I'm uh, being interviewed today. Ruby. It's nice to put a face to the name that the head and I will be discussing later. Ah. Um, thanks very much, Andrea. I can look after Mr. Fleet now, if that's all right. Sure, no problem. Interesting school. Challenging. I expect you have quite a lot of uh, diet-related behavioural problems, ADHD, ADD, violence, depression, aggression. Well, you know a lot about children and behaviour, do you? Well, I used to be in your shoes before I started chefing. What was your background, Mr Fleet, if you don't mind me asking? Of course not. Uh, it's been quite a journey. I uh, began as a teacher through technology, like you. Right. But I always wanted the buzz of a kitchen, so I left and trained as a chef. Then I decided I missed working with the kids, so I uh, started as a youth worker in my spare time. Disadvantaged teens, you know, I love it. And uh, now I want to get back to working with them full time. But yeah, I think there's a lot we can do here, a lot of uh, improvements we could make. Yeah, that's absolutely fascinating. Listen, why don't you pop in with me and tell me a bit more about it? Well... No, no, don't worry about your interview, because they'll be running late anyway. And, um, if you sit in on my next class, then you get a chance to meet the children as well. Well, that would be great. Are you sure that's okay? Oh, absolutely, yes. My, my pleasure. Maybe just for a few minutes. Then. Yeah, great, thank you. Okay, thanks. Interviews. We have to interview to get on the scheme. Hey, you're always going to get in, are you? Doesn't make any difference to you. Oh, well, we've done it! Look, this is exactly what we wanted. The APU scheme open to anyone. Look, it's just political correctness. All right, box ticking. They're wasting their time. Yeah, too right they are. Come on, we'll all do it. It'll take them all week to get through us. I don't think so. Nope, definitely not me, sorry. Well, you will, won't you? We can't stop now. Oh, but I hate interviews. They're scary. Looks like you'll be representing the underprivileged alone. It's just talking. All we've got to do is give them a hard time. Prop. Right, uh, we take turns with our questions uh, and we give each other space, yeah? All right. Hi, Danielle. Why do you think that you are university material? I'm not sure I am. Um... Because you told me I was. To tell you the truth, I'm only here because Michaela made me, so... I want to be an international lawyer, so I thought I could do a language degree and then a law conversion course. At the moment, I'm applying to get onto the scheme that prepares me for university entrance. If I get on, then I'll be in a better position to answer that question. Michaela. Why do you think that you're university material? Why wouldn't I be? Can we have a little bit less attitude, please? Look, this is an opportunity for you to, well, prove to us and to yourself that you deserve a place, okay? 
So why do you want to go to university? Better education equals better jobs, better money, better lifestyle, better all round. I've got ambition. And what do you think you have to offer a university? Myself. Right, everyone, gather round. Um, I'd like to introduce you to somebody. This is Mr. Fleet, and he is a professional chef. Well, he's taken time out to come and have a chat with you today. He's both. Oh, it's not. Yeah. I'm going to observe you, if that's all right with you, by way of an informal interview. Sure. OK. Um, all right, hi, kids. Uh, let's take a look at this recipe here. Now, can anyone tell me what it's for? Well, come on, take a guess. Aidan, would you like to read it out for us? Excellent. Um, water, rehydrated rusk, dextrose, stabiliser, raisin agent, pot rind, pork fat, filled in beef protein casings. Ah, uh, what are filled in beef protein casings? That's bits of the beef carcass that can't be used for meat, like the bones, the gristle, the hooves. Oh. Carry on, Aidan. Um, antioxidants, sugar, colour and yeast extract. Is it dog food, sir? <laughs> no, come, come on, someone, someone else have a guess. A, a biscuit? It's something most of you eat pretty regularly. Sausage roll. Sausage roll. Sausage roll. And that <laughs> is what's in it. So you are what you eat. Now think about it. Well, thank you very much. That was very informative. Now, if you could just stay a moment longer. Are you going to have to go? Oh, Is this a question? A question is a sentence with an inflection at the end, concluding in a question mark, which requires an answer. Unless the question is rhetorical, in which case the answer is implied by the question or questioner. So, yes, your sentence could be described as a question. Is this a question? Is this necessary? Is this a question? You've been reading the Oxbridge horror stories on the internet, haven't you? <laughs> is this a question? If this is an answer... <laughs> Spawn. We called your name. I had to give you a slot to another candidate. Right. Is there any chance I could be seeing later? <laughs> it's unlikely. I'll see what I can do. This is a bomb. You all right? This is a bomb. It's a bomb. I'll get it. Yeah, I know. It's a bomb. And if it was a bomb, I'd throw it out the window. Which is apparently how someone passed his Oxford interview. This is a bomb. Ah! Where do you see yourself in ten years, Phil? With a beard. <laughs> Thank you. Um, in a job, I suppose. God, I'll be 27. Thank you. In a French-speaking North African country, working in human rights. Brilliant. Thanks, Ross. Thank you, Ross. I don't don't know. Well, what what would you like to be doing? I know what I don't want to be doing. Okay, what's that? Raising three kids in a one-bedroom flat. No bloke, no job. So what would you like? Well, I suppose I'm, I'm good at telling people what to do. I know it's usually just for a laugh, but I could make a good boss, couldn't I? Yeah. I'd like to have my own business. Thank you, Michaela.
Ise, ise jää. Okay. I've got the results from your interviews. Michaela, don't you want to hear how you did? Congratulations, you four got through. Are you serious? Yeah. I got through? You did very well. Oh, oh go to university! No, whoa, hang on, hang on. I haven't finished. It isn't a fait accompli yet. But? It's not all sewn up yet. Congratulations on getting through part one. You mean there's more? Yeah. Stage two. There'll be a written paper after lunch. Like an exam? Um, think of it more of a chance to express your opinions. It's not testing your knowledge, more a chance to uh, show your powers of analysis. What's that? Your ability to argue. Should be all right then. Shut up. The subject's going to be the past, the present or the future. Which has most value to you and why? I want you to use your lunch break to make any notes, do some research and plan your essay. Well done, all of you. And good luck with the paper. Got a moment, miss? Yeah, of course, I've You did really good today, you know? Thanks. Do you really think I can go to university? I think you've got so much potential, you could do anything you put your mind to. You're not just saying that, are you? <laughs> right, well, will you help me with the next bit then? What next bit? The exam. What exam? The exam Mr. Me told us about. When did he tell you about that? Before. I find it harder to express myself and argue on paper, so I wondered if you have any tips. Um, yeah, just the best thing is to keep it clear and simple. Write it as you'd speak it, you know, don't try and be too literary. Bookish. Right. <laughs> and make sure you use your own voice. Okay. Don't get intimidated by the exam conditions. Keep confident. Just be yourself, that's the key to your success. You've got a really good opportunity here. Make the most of it. What's this essay? You didn't mention that earlier. Ah, oh, yeah. Um, Michaela literally thought that that was it. That she had a university place. Well, I couldn't let her believe that. It's deceitful. I'm only protecting her, Kim. Well, shouldn't you have discussed it with me first? Never mind Rachel. Yes. Yeah, I should have done, and I apologise. But Rachel wanted a proper application process. This is it. We can't just let them through on interview, Kim. Universities test academically. To let the kids think otherwise is setting them up for a massive fall. Hang on. Michaela has just proved that she has got as much right to be on this scheme as anybody else. No. She's proved that she's quick-witted and she's got the gift of the gap. She's straight and she's smart, but she's not academic. And as much as I'd love to be proved wrong, Michaela just won't get the grades that they asked for. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but for now, we have got a student who has all of a sudden got this, this ambition and, and drive, and instead of encouraging her, you want her to fall at the first hurdle? You're missing the point. No, you are, Chris. All right, Kim, just calm down. I don't want you getting all het up. <sighs> My God, you really are like this sexist, elitist, prejudiced. Okay, thank you. Can I get a little word in here? I've got Aidan Keane's mum downstairs in a fury. It's very difficult, Kim, because now she's saying you called Aidan fat. And she's accusing you of bullying and prejudice, so shall we deal with it? Prejudice. Your favourite subject?
all day, you know. I'm due back at work. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Mrs. Keane. Uh, Kim Campbell. Oh, so it's you who has been giving my son so much grief. I'm not sure what Aidan said, but obviously there are two sides to every story. Well, you're accusing him of being a liar now as well, are you? I really don't think that was Kim's intention. Well, it's what I heard. If it wasn't what she meant, she ought to be more careful with her words. Aidan got a little bit upset this morning when I confiscated some snacks from him that he was eating in my class. It was a small thing, but then I had to have a word with him when he stole the bag back. Oh, so he's a thief now as well, is he? Well, I'm sorry, but you've got my son wrong. He never nicked that bag back. I'm afraid he did, Mrs. Keen. Well, what's them there, then? I brought him in the snacks he had at break. I brought in sausage rolls. Them in there is donuts. I'd like an apology, please. has a healthy appetite. When he comfort eats, it's because he is not happy. And he is not happy because he's being bullied at school. Have you been aware of any bullying issues? No, she is the bully. I'm sorry, I can't allow you to speak to my staff like that. But you let her talk about my son like that. Aidan is a, a complicated and conflicted young boy. No, Aidan is a gentle and sensitive young boy. And if the insensitive and aggressive way that you're talking to me is the way you talk to him, well, I'm not surprised he's been having these upsets. Mrs Keane, I don't think that Aidan is the same at school as what he is at home. Mrs Keane, what is he like at home? Well, he's tired from school and say there's... there's a lot of stress put on him. So I don't put on pressure. I just give him what he needs, look after him, and he's calm. Is mellow. And in your point of view, what's he like at school? To be honest, he's sulky. He's negative, he's withdrawn, he's hostile to the other pupils, he's rude to staff. Oh, you have really got it in for him, haven't you? Do you know what? I think that Aidan should be here. I think you should go and get him, Kim. He should be involved in this discussion. Okay. Well, I'm coming with you. Is she ready for me? Full diary all afternoon. I suppose you could wait and catch her at the end of the day. Okay, thank you. I think the lover boy's coming over. He's not my lover boy. Is it seat free? I'll make room everyone Sam's boyfriend wants. Shut up, Lauren. Yeah, shut up, Lauren. Are you two together or something? Just you didn't tell me. Leave it. Just I thought you only had eyes for Bolton. Shut up. She said shut up. You can't speak for her. She's not your girlfriend. But you can't either. Sam, why didn't you just tell him? Tell him you don't like him. She doesn't like you. Leave her alone. Shut up. Just shut up. What are you doing, you fat slob? You want to race? Are you what? What do we do if we run out of paper, sir? There's only half an hour. I'm sure you'll be fine. What were you 
you doing? I didn't mean to. It was her she was winding me up. She made me hit her. No, Aidan, we have a strong policy about physical violence in this school, and there is not an excuse for it. Ever. She was bullying me. Is that right, Sam? No. Yes, she was. She was picking on me. She was making fun of my weight. She was making fun of me too. She was just teasing. We tease each other all the time. You just can't take it. The only person that's got a problem with the weight is you. The rest of us, we just, we just don't care. You care? You'll go out with some fat. No, I won't go out with you because I don't like you. Are you gonna let her talk to my son like that? Uh, Sam, you need to explain why you said that. It wasn't very kind. Well, he it? isn't very kind. Oh, I've had enough of this. He takes everything personally. He won't join in with anything. And he always feels sorry for himself. You make it impossible for anyone to be a friend, Aidan. You always make us feel like we're upsetting you, even when we're not. The only person that's a bullet is you. Have some more paper, please. How did it make you feel when Sambuca said that, Aidan? You see, none of this would have happened if you'd have come for me when I told you uh, to. Please don't talk to your mum like that. Can we go? Why do you let him talk to you like that? Sam. Do you know this morning he called you lame? You're too nice to him, that's his problem. He doesn't deserve you. Shut up, you. You know nothing about us, so shut it. That is enough, Aidan. You may talk to your mum like that at home, but we do not allow rudeness in this school. You see, mum, they're all against me all the time. Maybe Aidan is struggling with the different boundaries that he has at home and at school. We all want the best for Aidan, but... We need your support at home if he's going to be a success at school. Thank you. I know that you care. Where are you going? Were you? No, you're staying at school until the end of the day. But I don't want to. I want to come with you. I have tried to do my best by you, Aidan. I've given you everything. Maybe it's too much. It's not made you happy, has it? It's not working. Mum! No, you just listen to your teachers while you're at school because I am not interfering with your school business anymore. I'll see you later. Sir, I can't concentrate. Okay, either she has to move or I will. I'm, I'm not doing anything. Look, just because you can't do the questions doesn't mean you have to drag us down as well, okay? Right, quiet, please. These are exam conditions. I finished, sir. There's still ten minutes left. Uh, why don't you use that time to check through your work? You were right. I am second rate. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, I've sent her to the school nurse, though. OK. And is Aidan's mum still here? Uh, no. No, she's gone home. I think she finally saw the other side to her son. <laughs> any, uh, any luck with any of these candidates? Well, it's an eclectic bunch, but I don't think any of them are quite right. Oh, and we had one no-show. It was in this guy, Adam Fleet. He didn't turn up. Oh, no. No, he was in the canteen. Really? Hmm. Any idea where he is now? Well, I should imagine he's still there. All right, thanks. I'll go and find him. Michaela. You lied to me, Miss. You made me think that I could do it when you knew that I couldn't. Don't understand what, what's happened. I made such an idiot of myself in there. What do I do? What do I do now? What do I do? Come on. Adam Fleet. I know you, don't I? Amanda Fenshaw. Oh, my God, I don't believe it. It is you. It's Adam Fleet. Fat Adam. I'm sorry. Good to see you, too. <laughs> Do you work here? I'm the head teacher. R Rachel Mason? I, uh, yeah, I had to change my name. It's a long story. Well, I had an interview with you today. I know, I recognise your name, but I, uh, you used to be much bigger, didn't you? I did, yes. That was some time ago. <laughs> That's been a long time. Well, you haven't changed. You have. <laughs> But you still can't keep an appointment. Oh, I'm sorry, I got hijacked by your food tech teacher. She got me demonstrating my methods in one of her lessons. Seemed pleased. You should have mentioned that. Really? Uh, look, I have got some time now. Do you want to? Do you want to do that interview? That would be great. I never even wanted to try out for the scheme properly. I was just annoyed at Ros and Philip. And then you made me think I could do it. I should have known I couldn't do it. I shouldn't have believed you. You proved yourself highly capable in those interviews today. Not in the exams. Look, the exams and the interviews weren't about passing and failing. They were about showing us what the best way forward for each individual student was. So what's the best way forward for me? Well, you've got a choice. You could go to uni. You would have to apply yourself. You'd have to work really, really hard on getting your written work up to standard, but what you need to ask yourself is three years academic study what you really want. I want to be successful. I want to make something of myself. And you will. You're already on your way to doing that now. But believe it or not, you had a great day today. It was a good learning curve. God, you can be anything that you want to be. You just need to want it enough. I don't know what I don't want. What? I don't want to go to university. Well, you might change your mind on that again. Higher education isn't the only way. Some of our most powerful entrepreneurs, Sir Alan Sugar, Sir Richard Branson, they didn't go to university. <sighs> I just saw Mr Mead and he said all three of us are through. Here's the papers if you want them back. Um, what did you get? 75%. How about you? It must be a mistake. What? 90%. Congratulations, Roz. You're doing modern languages for your APU, right? I've been chosen to be your tutor. <clears throat> Any idea who I've got? Mm, you have to ask Mr Mead about that. It's just our Oxbridge candidate for the moment. How's Michaela? Uh, well, she's... She's bruised, but she's a survivor. She'll be OK. It's better that she goes through this disappointment now. It'd have only been even more painful further down the line. No, I still think that she could go to uni if she puts her mind to it. You can't put a glass ceiling on her ambition. Look, I admire your principles, Kim, but this one-size-fits-all philosophy just doesn't work. No, Chris, it's not about that. 
these kids are fragile. They, they need positive reinforcement. They don't need putting down and telling that they're not good enough. Right, and that's what you were doing with Aidan Keane, is it? Aidan Keane... Sir, I don't understand what's going on. What? I thought I was down as a potential Oxbridge student. Um, nothing's been decided yet, Philip. Yeah, it has. Ros has already been given a tutor. Right? She's been told she's the only candidate. No, that's a rumour. Me and Miss Campbell are discussing everything right now. Look, it's not fair if you're basing everything on that exam today. Look, I I'll speak to you first thing in the morning, Philip. OK. Less chat, more action, right? Team captains, Paul and Bolton, get into your teams. Let's play. Look out! Man, go, go, go get her. Go on. Sorry. So it's Aiden. Why don't you join us, Aiden? Might be your sport. Oh, come on. Maybe some other time, but thanks. Right, come on. Come on, nice. Jump, jump, jump. Yes, Paul. I believe kids can only understand food by handling it. You're know, getting to grips with the whole organic process. That makes sense. So I get someone like Aidan to make a list of what he ate yesterday. I'd work out the calories and nutritional content then. Using the same ingredients, I'd teach him how to make something like this. Fewer calories and proper nutritional content. Mmm, well, smells good. Do you know what? I seem to remember that you were the, the, the takeaway king. It was all fish and chips and pizzas, wasn't it? Well, not anymore. Mexican-style chicken mole. The only main course I could come up with. That used chocolate. Chocolate? OK. <laughs> Let's give it a go, then. Chocolate. Actually, that's really good. Thank you. That's delicious. Thank you. You know, I'd like to do this with all the kids with health or weight issues. Rework their relationship with food, break their habits, just reconnect them with what they're eating. Yeah, congratulations, because if you want this job, it's yours. Thank you. Hmm. Oh dear, what hurts them, not it? What's that supposed to mean? Come on, Lauren, don't make me say it. Say what? You two. You and Josh, you totally fancy each other. No. He doesn't. You mean you do? No. Come on, Lauren. You're always laughing and joking with each other. When he was pinching you in science, that's got 